the last walleye outing of 2022. It's mid-December, about to get really cold. It's about 4.30, so we're gonna get to work here and see if we can catch a few. So we are gonna start here, of course, with the jerk bait. See if they're still liking that. Trying to work it nice and slow. It's hard. I gotta count to force myself. Three second, four, five second pauses. And one, two, three. Oh, got one. There we go. Oh, jeez. Finally. It's about to change rates again. This is a fat so, I think. Not real big. But my first. Yeah. There she is. Other way, other way. Okay, that's what didn't come till five o'clock. So just after sunset, pretty normal, actually. It's kind of unusually good when they start biting earlier than that. But that was the case last time. Johnny's been kicking my butt the last couple times, so I'm gonna have to get my act together to try to catch more than five fish by myself. I'm gonna put this on as a straight retrieve, so I just hold it in the current, because I lose faith in the jerkbait style in the, for walleye when the water's a little bit lower clarity as it is. It's like two feet visibility or something. So I feel like a straight retrieve is a little easier for them to find. Got him. Straight retrieve. With the barge passing. Barge bite. Good fighter, good bull fighter. Two, two for two, doing okay. I just threw on a, um, something very different. I threw on a uh, inline spinner. Just to, just to mix it up and get something that has some real thump to it. Some real, you know, feel. We've got a nice walleye here. First whip with the rooster tail. Night fishing walleyes with an inline. Look at that. Doing whatever it takes, huh? There we go. Chartreuse rooster tail. Switch back to the rip stop. I just couldn't keep that blade. Oh, that might be the fish of the day so far. Maybe, I don't know. Super similar. I don't know. Uh, yeah. He's probably bigger, a little bit bigger than the others. Good looking fish, great looking fish, see that? We got a barge going by. A lot of times that produces bites. So, gotta keep casting here. But number four, not doing too bad. Shallow rip stop this time. Smoked it. New spot, new location. We've just moved over here. It's a barge platform that's paved over and it's got these bright lights shining down on it. So we'll see if we can catch a few more fish. Missed one already, right along the wall. Let's check this hook, I mean, it's okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Boom! Nice fish. Oh my mackerel! Oh. 
That is a really nice one. Boom. Fish number five, lure number five. Whew. Good fish. Let's let her back. I know they're here feeding right now because I came, I had a hit, and then I heard a fish break the surface right here against that wall. They pushed the bait against this wall. So basically what I do is I make some cast, um, but for the most part, I drag my bait or jig my bait right in front of the face of this wall because that seems to be where most of the action is taking place. That's another one. Boom. Oh, look at the size of those eyes they have. They can see. This is a smaller, fat one. Fish number six. Number two on the swim bait, number two at this spot. I got one. Oh, felt like bottom. These hits are so subtle. What do we have here? Oh, wow. Another beauty. Holy cow. That's a good fish, folks. Holy cow. Look at that. Down the hatch. Excellent fish. Number seven. Definitely. I mean, geez, 20 inches all day. Maybe 21. Look at this thing. Beast. Number seven. Absolute beauty. Holy cow. There's another one. More modest specimen, but still totally nice. Two spots, five different lures, seven walleye. Not bad, catching them on all kinds of different things. Definitely still feeding. I'm not positive this will be the last of the year, but I'm gonna do some musky jigging this weekend, which I think is a long shot. Then by Christmas, it looks like it's gonna be time for ice fishing. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.